Are you a middle school math teacher who needs some ideas on bell ringers to jumpstart your class every day? You're in luck. In this video, I'm going to share with you three bell ringer ideas for your middle school math class. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. So what is a bell ringer? Well, simply put, a bell ringer is just your your warm up to get your class going each day. I love a warm up, a bell ringer, whatever you want to call it. Personally, I call my warm ups the daily flash because we do them daily and we do them in a flash. And I love it because it gives my students the expectation of what to do when they walk into my classroom. There's no questions about what are we, what am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be doing my homework? Am I supposed to be getting out a pencil? Am I getting out of paper? Like, what am I doing? No, you are sitting down, starting the warm up. They know exactly where the warm up is because it's posted on the board, the same spot on the board every day, and they just know what to do. And it gives me a chance to have a minute, gather my things together, gather my thoughts together. Sometimes I'm in the middle of writing an email and then the bell rings and I still have another minute or two as the students come filing in and they get started with their warm up. Um, and it also gives me a chance to take attendance, right? The dreaded attendance that we always seem to forget. So it gives me a chance to do that too. And it's just, it's part of my routine in the classroom and the students know exactly what to do. I don't have to tell them, they just know. And it's a beautiful thing. So that is a warm up, And that is why I believe you should include a warm up or bell ringer in your class. And your bell ringer can be whatever you want it to be. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you three ideas of what you can use. So let's dive right in. Okay, so the first warm up that you can use is called Which One Doesn't Belong? This site is amazing. Um, it uh, was created by Mary Barassa. I hope I'm saying her name right, but she's amazing. And what? You, so she's got shapes, numbers, and graphs. So let's just click on the shapes and you can pick there's, she has so many, you can create your own, but she's done an amazing job for us, right? So let's just click this one. Um, I thought I was able to make them bigger, but that's okay. Uh, so let's just use this one. I got a basketball, a brownie, a cake, and a cookie. And you can just post this up on your, if you have a projector, you can project it. You can print it out, you know, enlarge it and put it on, print it out on a piece of paper and have it on the front of your class and ask your students, which one doesn't belong? And I love this because there's no wrong answer, but it allows your students to think about what they're seeing differently and allows them to verbalize their reasoning. And I think so often we tend to forget this piece in math class. We tend to just kind of show our students, you know, um, here's how we show them the procedure of things. We might show them why things happen, but we don't always get into deeper thinking, deeper discussions about things. Um, so I love this because students might say, well, the basketball doesn't belong because it's not a food. But then another person will say, no, it does belong because it's you know it's circular shaped like the cookie and the cake. Maybe the brownie doesn't belong because it's you know it's like a square shape, but it's also a food. You know, so it just gives students different ways to think about their thinking and share their thinking. And there's again no right or wrong answer, so you don't have students who who are will feel embarrassed about sharing an answer because they're afraid they're going to get it wrong. This gives everybody an opportunity to share and in theory like be right. You know. So yes, which one doesn't belong? I love this. Idea number two is called visual patterns. This is from visualpatterns.org by the amazing Fawn Wynn. And she actually has a very low cost workshop where she will show you exactly how to implement visual patterns. It's only $39, it's self-paced, and it's am anything Fawn Wynn does is amazing. But I can show you, um, so she says, Click on a pattern to see a larger image and the answer to step 43. What is the equation? So if we could just click on the big one, pattern one, squares in step 43 equals 1,849. Toothpicks in steps 43 equals 
3,784. Oops, this goes to the next one. So you, you, you will ask your students, what is the equation and how to get from this to this to this and so on and so forth. Again, I'm not gonna go in deep into how to do this. I encourage you to purchase Fawn Wynn's, you know, low cost course. Um, but this really, when done correctly, this allows your students to really dive deeper into their critical thinking skills, their analytic skills, uh, and we, we do need more of that. So it's just amazing. And there's, you know, like different patterns, like this penguin, um, dogs, like, so what is, you know, what's the equation that's happening here? And finally, this is the bell ringer that I use. I don't use anything fancy, but my bell ringer consists of four questions every day. So I write these questions on my board and I love this because it allows me to spiral. So if you would like to download this, I've actually included a link right below this video for you to download this. You get five days of bell ringers and answer keys as well. So, for example, if I am starting, uh, you know, the multi step equations, my bell ringer might include practice on integers. It might include practice on one step equations because I want to spiral those skills into what we're going to be doing. So. Again, this is another days of bell ringers. It's four questions. You can see it's not a ton of stuff. It's we easily can get this done in one to five minutes. And of course, it includes an answer key for you. So don't include the answers to, for your students, of course, but you get five of these for a week's worth. And if you need something like this, this surely will help you get started. Again, I hope these videos or I hope this video help you with some new ideas that you can incorporate for bell ringers in cheery class. I especially love the uh, which one doesn't belong. I don't use them. I don't use that daily. I use my bell ringers daily and then I will use something like which one doesn't belong or the visual patterns or numbers talks, anything, something like that, like once a week or maybe twice a week just to kind of switch it up a little bit. But I always, always include my four question bell ringer because I need my students to get into the groove of math class every day and I need them to continue to practice their skills. Again, if you'd like to download my free five days worth of bell ringer bundle, use the link in the description box below and I will see you in our next video. Bye for now.